Hello everybody, welcome back to uh, my Tesla roof and the progress that is being made on it. Uh, today is day 11 and we're going to be checking out what's going on here. Looks like some massive gains behind us and we'll go into details on what actually occurred uh, today. And uh, we'll, we'll give a whole walk around the house and things like that. So stay tuned. Alright, so the big improvement today was the whole front here. So much progress was made by the Tesla Energy team. Uh, these guys put in a ton of work today. Uh, basically, they did all of this and, and some of that. Um, with that being an all-day job in itself, just getting all the flashing and stuff around that chimney for my fireplace. Uh, so that was, that was quite the job. We'll take a closer look at that. But um, all of these tiles right in here are all solar and basically all the white you see left besides this little piece here all of those will just be glass because they are too close to the skylights uh, we are still waiting on the two new skylights for these two because these these puppies are 25 years old each and that one there that's covered leaks so we're still waiting on those to come in tesla ordered them over two weeks ago and uh, while the, the supplier for them is just taking the slow sweet time. So hopefully they come in before the entire roof is done. Um, of course, then they're going to have to come back and, you know, actually make them fit and adjust the roof around it. But it would be nice for them to be installed before any of this gets done. Or they may, they may just wait. Um, I haven't heard the, the official word on it. You know, they have all their contingency plans and, and things like that. So I'll, you know, I'll keep you guys posted uh, as I know more of what's going on. But uh, so far, they're still hoping that they will come in before they finish up everything else on the roof. And then they can actually install both of them and then do all the flashing around them, all the metal work, and then tie it into the roof. Uh, that would be the, the best way to do it. Uh, and that's the way they really want to do it. Um, other than that, our bundle of wires here running from the roof is building up. Uh, they've been very busy running all these wires underneath these panels and installing all the MCUs, um, which control the panels so they can get shut off during emergencies and things like that. So really cool stuff happening here. I'll take a closer look over here at the chimney and all the metal work that they did. All right, so taking a look at uh, the wood stove chimney now, uh, this whole unit actually got removed. They removed uh, all of this all the way down to the base. Uh, they took off that little black, um, I don't know what you want to call it, but that, that black saucer looking piece of metal, that came off too. They then brought in that black piece of metal that goes up that you know, forms the base it's, it's all solid one piece of metal and then that way they can tie it into the rest of the roof um that was a full day fab project i know it looks like it should be a lot quicker but believe me uh there was a lot of work put in uh to make that happen and it was really impressive um i don't know if, well you can't actually see even in this light i can't see it with my own eyes but if we zoom in here and we take a look where the legs go down, the support arms, those two tiles uh, that they anchor into are not actually uh, tiles. They're not glass tiles. They are actually metal. Yes, uh, they are metal tiles. Um, and those are the fake tiles just to make it look seamless with the rest of the roof. But they are not glass tiles. They're actually metal. They drill a hole in them and then they anchor in. Uh, those support legs uh, into those. So pretty cool. Um, it's it's pretty cool how seamless it is too because honestly looking through the camera here and just looking through my own eyes I cannot tell the difference uh, between the two. Now the guys did say that if there's a lot of like morning dew and stuff on the roof uh, you probably can tell the difference because the glass is going to react react one way uh, to all that like morning dew and the metal is going to react a little bit differently and they're both going to warm up a little bit differently as you know the sun comes up but you know during the daytime everything is basically going to look exactly the same one nice uniform 
roof and I think that's pretty awesome. And now an update for this little corner here. We are still waiting on metal for that. Um, Tesla, the Tesla team here put an order in uh, several days ago on that too. I don't know where that comes out of. It might be out of Buffalo as well, but we're still waiting on additional metal so that they can uh, you know, cover that up and make that look seamless. Uh, nothing else has gone on here. All of this is the same for the last uh, couple of days. And the same thing with the back here, still looking fantastic. And well, still the same, uh, nothing has changed here. Um, they haven't done anything with, with siding or trim or anything like that um, as of this moment, but that's fine. I can understand them wanting to finish off uh, the major process of just trying to install uh, all of these panels onto the roof. And with the sun setting here, it looks, looks pretty, pretty darn impressive. Um, if you ask me, I'm really enjoying the look of them. Uh, they are already staging uh, panels or tiles up there and on this side of the uh, back side of the main roof. Um, there's going to be about 27 uh, PV tiles back here and then the rest will be glass. I have about 151 um, PV tiles on the front side of the house, that main side of the house we were just looking at. So pretty sweet overall. Uh, it's going to be exciting to see uh, what else happens. All right, so that wraps up uh, this tour and look at day 11 of this Tesla roof uh, installation and assembly and adventure overall. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section uh, down below. I'm going to keep doing this series until this build is officially done, and I think it'll stand by its own as its own series on this channel. I'll probably make a separate playlist just for other Tesla solar roof related videos, uh, kind of like how I talked about uh, the look of the uh, non-solar tiles and the solar tiles. That'll probably be in its own playlist. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Again, any questions, just ask me and uh, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.